Time for another retro review. This time, it's Devil's Crush. If you want pinball for the Turbo Graphics, this is basically your only option. Which isn't that bad since it's pretty fucking awesome. Now then, let's try this out. Look at that. Look at those graphics. Oh yeah. Who doesn't love pinball? Now, if you might remember, I did a review for Alien Crush. Not. Aw, oh, what? Wow, okay, well that's, uh. Not really setting a good example. I'll try better this time. Anyway, what I was gonna say is, I did a review for Alien Crush a while back, and this is the sequel. So, uh. They improve the graphics, eh, not a whole lot, There's, it's, it's, it's pretty similar, but uh, they managed to, to change a few things. For one, uh, it's not, the, the pinball table isn't divided into a, son of a bitch, god damn it, I'm doing horribly, I, uh, anyway, whatever, uh, like I was saying. The, uh, the tables, they aren't to divide into three screens. An Alien Crush, uh, it's divided into, like, two or three screens, so every time it would go up a level, uh, there'd be, like, a, a second or two delay. Whereas, with, uh, with Demon Crush, there is none. So it's, it's, it's really smooth, and, uh, yeah. It's, it's really fun. So, obviously, unlike Alien Crush, and here you're, uh... Fighting demons, so there's lots of uh, skeletons and devils and all sorts of stuff. The face transforms randomly. I'm not exactly sure how uh, how to make it transform more, but uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. This was a game. This really showed off, I think, what the Turbo Graphics was capable of. Obviously, you know. People say, oh, it's just a pinball game, it's nothing special. But I mean, this was, this was fucking rad back in the day. Try not to die here. Uh. Oh shit. I don't know what, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what happens to that face. Like... What happens when it's fully lizardized or whatever, but, uh, yeah, so as you can see, there's a whole bunch of shit that's just going on on the screen, and, like, all the time, and, uh, there, just like Alien Crush, there are, uh, bonus rooms, I don't know if I'll be able to get one, if my track record stays consistent find up dying soon, but, uh, there are bonus rooms, um, just like Alien Crush. Yeah, so in a lot of ways, it's like Alien Crush, but just, just better, really, just better. So, uh, if you're a fan of pinball, definitely, wait, what the sh what just happened? That's another thing, just like in Alien Crush, Ow, okay, awesome. I get to show you a bonus stage. Okay, so that, yeah. So you just... Oh, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is awful. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Well, okay, yeah. So that was a bonus <laughs> stage. Uh, blink and you'll miss it. That was, uh... That was a bonus stage. If you couldn't tell, I was supposed to take out those, uh... I think I had like three wizards with some like bad guys surrounding them and I had to take them out but uh... yeah now one of the funny things and maybe a, a little known fact about this is that uh... this game actually came out Unlike, uh, whoa, dragon. Okay, that's pretty rad. Um, 
This game, unlike uh, Alien Crush, this game actually came out on the Genesis. Now, it was called something else. I, for the life of me, I can't remember the alternate name, but uh, it was called something else, and it came out for the uh, the Genesis, and uh, it wasn't as good. The graphics were a little, like, the colors weren't as vibrant, and, like, things were a little choppier, but, uh, so if you don't have a Turbo Graphics, which I'm assuming, you know, like, which is, like, all of you, you might be able to find uh, this copy for the Genesis. Oh yeah, high score. But yeah, so that's uh that's Devil Crush for the Turbo Graphics. Until next time.